Well, congestion, I think many of you at home would agree, it feels like it gets worse throughout Central Texas every year, but especially right through downtown Austin. Yeah. Definitely. After a two-year, though, process of gathering community feedback, what would you like to see out there? The solution, according to Capital Metro, is clear. A plan to come up with a transformation of the Austin transportation system. That includes a downtown subway system. Very cool. KXN's Candy Rodriguez is joining us live this morning from downtown's Republic Square with a closer look at this project. Good morning, Candy. Hey, good morning, and this is a big plan, a big transformation for the city if it does become a reality. And Camp Metro plans to recommend it to its board of directors and city council this Monday. But ahead of that, we have the president and CEO, Randy Clark, to talk all about it. And obviously, Randy, some of the biggest takeaways are those light rails. How confident are you guys that this will actually become a reality? Yeah, hi, Katie. Good morning. Uh, well, you know, overall, it's just a really big plan and it's transformational. And what we've heard overall from the community is we need to really solve our traffic problems. So light rail is certainly a big part of that. And that's the orange and blue line, the blue line to the airport, orange, kind of our new main street, kind of tech ridge to slaughter through the middle of the city. But we have a you know, green line out to uh, eat through East Austin. We have seven metro rapid lines on the city, express buses. It's just like more buses, more trains, more stations, more park and rides. It's really a plan finally to address the entire city's major traffic issues and move us kind of forward. You know, we're almost four million, we're going to be four million people as a region, and we got to have those investments to handle that type of, uh, of volume of people. And you guys also have a new line, which is the gold line. Talk yeah, about that. Yeah, gold line as well. So the gold line is a, a really kind of fully dedicated lane, bus rapid transit, more ACC Highland down kind of east side of UT, down to the Convention Center Republic Square. So again, light rail, commuter rail, bus rapid transit, express buses, uh, more neighborhood circulators, every, like it's just a really robust uh, transformational plan. Yeah, and so with those light rails, uh, with the orange and uh, blue lines, which would go up, like you said, north and south, and would go to the airport, um, with that would come a sort of what you would consider a subway system, but what you guys are calling Austin's underground tunnel. Kind of talk about that and what that means for this transit system. Yeah, yeah, certainly uh, that's one of the recommendations we're going to make. Certainly almost all large cities in the world have an under underground transportation uh, network. When you get so big, the congestion downtown today is really significant. So this really improves the entire system for everyone. So people in cars want buses and trains out of their way. People with buses and trains want cars out of our way. Everyone wants scooters out of their way. Um, it's, it increases safety significantly, speed, reliability. So no matter where you are in the whole city and network, the better the downtown, which is the most congested is, the better for everyone. And so there's a lot of value in that that's really future-proofing the entire investment. And you talked about some of those other uh, proposals and other recommendations in this plan. And we have renderings of those right there on your screen. 14 new park and rides, uh, several new metro uh, rapid systems, uh, routes across the city. But talk about those uh, regional transit centers because some of them will have mixed-use developments on them. Totally. We think there's a really important nexus between things like, you know, housing, uh, retail, transportation, activity centers, all that tied together. So, you know, overall what our big thing is we've engaged over 40,000 people in this process. We want to thank the community for all their input and, and they're telling us we, we want to have all these things and we want them tied together. So that's really what we're trying to work on for the community. Thank you so much, Randy. And the cost for this could be anywhere between 5 to $10 billion and Cap Metro expects to have about 40% of that covered by federal fundings and grants and the rest could potentially come in a bond later this year or a tax rate hike down the road. Back to you.